Yo, lads, before we get into this episode, please can we reach 2,000 likes on this video? I would greatly appreciate it, and I really hope you enjoyed this episode of iRate Your Teams. Here we go. Okay, it's 10 a.m., it's Sunday, and you know what that means. It's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you'd like to be featured in an I Rate Your Teams video, they come out every Sunday and every Wednesday at 10 a.m. on Sundays, 4 p.m. on Wednesdays. All you have to do to be featured is take a hasty screenshot of your team, send it to me using the hashtag it's Haber on Twitter. Please use the hashtag. Don't at me. They are two different things. A lot of people still only at me in their teams. The hashtag and an at is completely different. Um, and the at sign just gets lost in my notifications, whereas I can actually find hashtags. Um, so please use the hashtag it's Haber and give me a, a description of your team. If you play a different formation in game that you do when you start, uh, please send me two screenshots of your team so I know for chemistry purposes how you start and what you play in game. And just let me know who's tradable, who's untradable, how many coins you got, and we'll get straight into it. Um, now, I, I only really look for screenshots and not pictures from consoles because they typically look blurry after exporting the video. Um, and, you know, people on smaller devices, like for example, uh, I try and actually watch my videos back on my phone and I genuinely can't see most of the teams when I do. So I only try and look at the HD 1080p uh, screenshots like this one from Julian Sorrell, Sorrell, sorry, who says, this is my current team and I'm legit broke right now. What should I upgrade next? Both icons and players on the bench are untradeable. Okay. Um, that's a nice, well-structured team, actually. I'm guessing you play probably a 4-2-3-1 in game because um, it looks like you set up for that. Or like a 4 triple 2 or something like that with like Marlon, Gamera up top. And then uh, the two wingers as the two wide players. Um, obviously, I respect the grind for the icon swaps to get the good icons in your team. I like that a lot. Uh, you've got some decent players on the bench too. What would I go to upgrade next? I would probably look towards upgrading your left wing next. Um, you know, I think you've got the likes of... Uh, you could potentially look towards an informed Griezmann. If you're playing him cam, I think he'd be a fantastic cam, but that's obviously far down the line. Um, you know, it's sort of like Lamar might be decent um, or a Vinicius Jr. might actually be an upgrade on Guedes. And the reason why I say that is because Vinicius is way better at dribbling, five-star skills. Um, you might prefer him and the flair that you get from Vinicius. Um, there's a whole host of different plays you can upgrade there. Um, I like Denzel Dumfries at right back. I'm not entirely sure why you've got the informed goalkeeper. If he's tradable, I'd get rid of him and just get like, I don't know. Um, who, who, what's, the, what's the guy's name? I forget. The goalie from AC Milan. Donnarumma. There you go. I'd get Donnarumma. Um, you don't need to spend 10,000 coins on an inform, in my opinion. It's just not necessary. And maybe more because he's considering he's 84 rated. Um, so that's, that's sort of the route I go down. But uh, I like the foundation to the team. The next one is from Tommy, uh, sorry, Toby Robinson. Hi, Haber. I've got 19 swap tokens completing David Villa on Monday. Thinking of uh, building this team using tokens to get Butra Gueno. Uh, first is how I start and the second is how I play in game. Everyone is untradeable other than Ariola, Eder Militao, and I have a budget of 100,000 coins. So you only have these two as your tradable players. Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure why the first image is, is super blurry. I'm not entirely sure why, but that's, that's what you play in game. This is, no, this is what you play in game. It's just two, it's the same screenshot, isn't it? Is it? Or you're asking me which one you should build? Um, what I would look toward building if I were you, which one would I go for? I think... Yeah. Oh, wait. So this is... Is this how you're going to start? Okay, I get you now. This is how you're going to start. It's super blurry. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm confused. This is how you're going to play in game. I like that team, actually. I, li I like that a lot. I haven't actually been on FIFA much today. So I actually want to have a look at that David Villa's card because uh, I haven't looked at all on FIFA. Wow. Okay, four star, four star. Fantastic pace. Uh, phenomenal finishing. Good shot power. Good long shots. Great volleys. Shooting in general is phenomenal. Agility is not amazing, but balance is decent. Uh, dribbling is good. Composure is good. Or composure is fantastic, actually. Uh, 81 stamina is good for a striker. 85 strength is fantastic. 84 aggression is also fantastic. And 85 jumping. Um, decent vision, not bad passing as well. Wow, this card is actually really good. Apart from agility and balance, which you can actually up, up that agility with an engine chem style. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if we add an engine on this card real quick, what will it go up to? Um, with an engine chem style, you get 82 agility and 90 balance. That card would be phenomenal with an engine on. Wow, that is actually a really, really nice card. Um, yeah, I like that team a lot. Would I change anything with that team? Potentially, uh, when you can, get rid of Trent and bring in uh, Walker. I think that Walker would be way better. Although, how do you start? Oh, you start with Fabinho there. I mean, you could put you could put Fabinho CDM, uh, Fernandinho Cam, and then uh, Walker at right back. 
Um, and then, uh, aside from that, I think that your team's pretty good. I mean, you start... The way you start obviously doesn't get Furl and Mendy on chem. You could sell Furl and Mendy. Oh, wait, no, he's on, he's on chem. He's on full chem. Never mind, ignore me. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. I do apologize. That team is really nice. I like that a lot. And that card is actually fantastic too. Um, next one coming from Jay Cartwright. It says, hi, mate. This is my team. Uh, Via, Nabri, Konati, and Babu, and Botius are untradeable. The rest are tradable. I sub off Podolski and inform Delaney, and I play a 4-1-2-1-2 in brackets too. Um, in game with Via and Nabri up top as shown in the second picture. I've got 150k at the moment. Any suggestions? Okay. This is how you start and then this is how you play in game. So you sub off Podolski who's playing left forward um, for Delaney. Okay. Um, I mean, what you could do is realistically... Oh, wait. You, uh, uh, Podolski's there to get him on full chemistry. Okay. I, get, I understand now. Do you have any icon swap tokens? If you can grind towards that guardiola card in my opinion it might be worth going for that guardiola card putting him at left forward so you don't have to sub anyone off at the start of the game you're then preserving your sub and you're allowing to have a substitute uh maybe at like the 80th minute because you've got two subs already but later on down the line maybe your 85th 90th minute you've already subbed on two or three subs um if you would sub on delaney as well that's your third sub but you could have a, an extra sub in the 90th minute or the 80, 85th minute or something like that a fresh pair of legs that could get you that last goal in my opinion um so i would personally look to try and get that icon guardiola from icon swaps over here um to replace podolski and then you don't actually have to make a sub straight away uh, in terms of, of up top you've got nabry up top um let me actually have a look at nabry's uh, uh, ability as a striker real quick so 84 finishing, 80 composure. That's not horrendous to be fair. But what I would personally look at, I think that you might benefit more from playing Marco Royce up top and Nabry as a cam. Uh, and the reason why I say that mainly is because Royce has got 87 finishing, 85 composure. I think on those one-on-one -on -one situations, you'll actually have more success with Royce than Nabry. Obviously, Nabry's a bit faster, but you can always put, you know, a hawk on Royce. He's got 90 pace. Or if you've got one on tradable, you can afford to buy one. You can always go with a Hunter Chem style against him, 95 pace. Um, and I feel like you'd probably be better off doing that and getting uh, Royce up top and Nabry at cam just for, this, for the simple reason that Nabry might miss those really easy one-on-one -on -one opportunities that Royce would put away. Just my opinion though, aside from that, I think your team is really nice, well-built, well-structured. I just realized you already have a hunter on Royce, so you wouldn't even need to buy one. Absolutely lovely. And what's just happened? I'm on the main page. I recently had the update of the new Twitter and it's absolutely horrendous and I hate it. And it just for some reason bugs out all the time. Anyway, the next one is from Morgan Jones. He's got Lewandowski, Semedo, Allen, Pep and St. Juice Day as his untradables. Uh, he's got 220,000 coins to improve and he sticks with this formation in game, but might change. Okay. All right, so you stick with this in game, but you might change. Um, it's actually a solid formation. The 4-3-3 is actually really solid. It's super compact in the midfield. It's great going forward. I think that it's actually a really good formation. What would I do with this team is a good question. Um, how many coins do you say you got? You've got 220,000 coins to improve. I would personally... Alan's not on full chemistry here, and I, I really do like Alan this game, but not off chemistry. What I would personally do here is I get Goretzka as your left centre mid and sell Alan. Then what I would do is I'd probably uh, purchase over here on the left. I'd go with Jordi Alba, and then I'd replace Ed, Ed Emiletal with Sergio Ramos. Uh, I think you'd probably benefit more from that. Alternatively, you could just get Ramos and then you could get um, a left back that would get Alan on full chemistry, maybe Alexandro if you'd prefer that, um, depending on how much you enjoy Alan. I think Alan's fantastic, but you know the likes of Goretzka aren't far behind and to get everyone on full chemistry, I, in my opinion, is really, really pivotal in this game. Um, so that might be a good option. So maybe look at Sergio Ramos at left centre back and then possibly an Alexandro or if you want the, uh, the, the first option going with uh, Goretzka. Aside from that, it's a really nice team. If you are going to check change anything formation wise i would suggest maybe just moving a bit more narrow maybe like a 4-2-3-1 something like that um where the the wing is a little bit more compact aside from that um i like the team a lot i think the team is really well balanced and really well structured the next team comes from josh nesbitt i've got 100,000 coins to upgrade now or i can save for goals later while bench and uh while the bench is untradeable and, and pk and ben Yedder are two keep up the good work man thank you very much appreciate that um, all right, so uh, PK and Ben Yedder are both untradeable in your squad, and this is how you're playing. You are playing a narrow. Actually, I do like that formation too. I would swap Ben Yedder and Lacazette. Lacazette's way better as a cam, in my opinion, and I think uh, Ben Yedder's way better as a striker. Um, would I change anything else? In terms of chemistry, do you need Florenzi? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, what you could do 
You could get rid of uh, Jesus, Juan Jesus. You could replace him with Manalas, and then at right back, you could go with Malqui. Alternatively, you could get Koulibaly and Malqui. Um, I'm actually a big fan of Manalas this year, and that Napoli trio of Alan, Malqui, and, and, and Manalas has been one of my favorite this year so far. Um, and I think that he would work well for your team too. Um, aside from that, I don't think I'd change anything to your team at the minute. I think that you've got a really solid team. Uh, in terms of upgrading and things like that, and who to sort of who to aim for as an upgrade, um it's a really really far in the future upgrade but i would look towards up updating sorry upgrading to mbappe eventually um obviously that is so far in the future you know a million coins is a massive amount of coins but you'll notice that in the next few weeks especially with with trading with black friday things like that you'll notice that coins are going to become very easy to to obtain and i think that plays will become cheaper as well um, so maybe if you get lucky in the next few weeks with rewards or you just, you know, make some good trades, you'll actually notice that you get pretty close to that uh, landmark um, before you even realize it. So that's sort of where I'd look to upgrading your team because aside from that, you've got a really solid team and I don't think there's anywhere else to upgrade in it really. Uh, next one comes from Biggie Ziggy YT who says, all special cards are untradeable plus Ed Air, Millie and Mendy, 30k to make changes, love the vids. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Um, just to double check. So Adara and Mendy are both untradeable too. Okay. All right. Um, what would I do with this team is a good question. Uh, what would I do with this team? That is a very, very, very good question. I would put Adam, sorry, I'd put Fale and Mendy at your left back spot instead of Alex Tellers. I would then actually, and it's gonna, it, might be, it might be a little bit surprising. I would actually bench Willian. Unless you're a huge fan of Willian, I'd probably bench him. And then I would look at left mid to get Martial. Um, and I would probably stick with that for the time being. That gets a lot of a lot more plays on chemistry there. That gets uh, uh, both Endombele and uh, Edem Militao on full chemistry. And it gets your left mid on full chemistry too. So uh, a third of your team automatically becomes better because they're on full chemistry now. That's sort of what I would do with that team. Uh, the next one comes from Nathan. Everyone except Stegen is untradeable. I have 200,000 coins. Wow, so you've got... A whole team of untradeables bar to stay again. That's a GG. So you do have 200k to improve. What would I do with the uh, with the 200,000 coins? Is, is a good question. Uh, what would I do with the 200,000 coins? I would replace Ducore with probably Frankie De Jong. Now that is actually going to bring Lacazette off chemistry. And the reason why I think that it's worth making the change and bringing Lacazette off chemistry mainly is because uh, I think that Frankie De Jong is just a way better box to box than Decore, personally. Just my opinion. Um, but I do see you've got Sizoko on the bench. Sizoko is probably a good option there too if you want to keep everyone on full chemistry. Um, aside from that, I, I love what you're doing here with Paulinho. Um, is that William Card good? I've heard bad things about him. Brooksy, my roommate, says he's absolutely terrible. Um, so I've heard some terrible things about him, but he looks like a half decent card. I can't imagine he's going to be absolutely horrendous. Uh, the next one comes from E to the Oi. He says, first is how I start, second in game. I only have around 20,000 coins in the club right now, but we'll get 50k for rewards on Thursday. When I play champs, I normally finish in silver one or gold three. Everyone is tradable uh, apart from Urzel and Politana and my bench. Okay, so this is how you start and then you play in game as this. I'm not a fan of, of playing wingers up top. I think you'd probably prefer Insigne, Insigne up top and then Bale as your left cam. Personally, that's what I'd say. Um... In terms of where to upgrade, I think your next upgrade, it would come at your left CDM spot. Uh, obviously, you've got Bale, which makes it hard to upgrade there because, uh, you know, there isn't a whole lot of CDM options from Real Madrid that are amazing in this game. Um, what would I do with the upgrade, though? It's a tough one. I think what I'd do is i probably, if I were you, is Bale tradable or untradable? Let me just double check this before I make a... Why am I back to this again? Or... Oh, EA, you, you're annoying me. Not EA, FIFA, you're in uh, Twitter. There it is. We finally found out who we're supposed to complain to, and it's Twitter. Uh, we're back to the squad. I don't know why it keeps doing that. I don't know why that happens. Like, can I not? Okay. Anyway, um, what you could do is you could sell uh, Gareth Bale if he is uh, untradeable. So, um, untradeables are Ozil. Everyone tradable. Yeah, okay. So, sell Gareth Bale. Get yourself um, Usmane Dembele. And get yourself Frankie De Jong as your left CDM. I think you'd probably benefit more from that. Uh, aside from that, I like your team. Uh, it's well structured and well balanced. Uh, the next one is coming from Jay Pearson. I have 200,000 coins in the club and I play a 4-2-3-1. In-game, untradables are PK. Oh, sorry, only PK. Also, any chem style ideas, keep up the great work. Okay. Um, so you only untradables PK. All right, I respect it. I respect it. 
Um, so this is what you play in game, and this is how you start. Okay, all right. So chem style suggestions, first of all. Um, I think you've got good chem styles and everyone apart from potentially Usmane. I'd put a sniper on Usmane. Um, I'd probably also put a sniper on Martial as well. Uh, and then I, uh, in terms of Nelson Semedo, I think you've got a good one on him. Yeah, I think you've got good chem styles and everyone else apart from those two. I'd probably just say Usmane and Martial put snipers on both of those as well to get them the uh, dribbling boost. Um, what would I do? 200,000 coins for this team though? I would personally sell Longley and replace him with Varane. I just prefer Varane in this game. Uh, I'm just a, a big Varane fan this year. Uh, I would then actually, and this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, it might surprise a few of you. I would actually sell Paul Pogba and I'd bring in N'Golo Kante. I think he'd be a better CDM there. Uh, aside from that, I think your team is really well made. Um, you've got some good subs here in uh, Maximine and uh, Vardy. I like how you got Dan James on the bench there. I, lo I love that as well. Uh, no, it's a nice team, mate. I do like that a lot. Um, so the next team is from Rowan Honor Stagal. I do apologize if I just butchered that. Uh, he says, Untradables are Gini, De Bruyne, Ferdinand, and Vardy. I've got 70,000 coins to spend. What should I do next? I play the same in game as well. Okay. All right. 70,000 coins. Untradables are Gini. Um, wait, who else was it? Uh, Untradables are uh, De Bruyne, Gini, Ferdinand, and Vardy. Okay. Uh, 200,000 coins to spend. What would I do with this team? I would replace St. Maximin and I'd get um, probably Raheem Sterling. I would then, let me let me see price-wise actually, because I, I think you should replace Jamie Vardy with Aubameyang as well. Aubameyang's 158k, how much is Raheem Sterling? Can you afford both of these upgrades? No, you can't. I would say actually mainly, I would upgrade Jamie Vardy for Aubameyang. Um, I think that Aubameyang's just better, four-star skills, faster, stronger, better at dribbling. I think you'd probably prefer him over Jamie Vardy. And then when you can eventually afford it, replace St. Maximin with Raheem Sterling and uh, and everything else keep the same because it's a really solid team. Uh, the next one is, we've already done Toby's now. Uh, the next one's coming from K Wizzy. It says, what's up, hey, but Griezmann, Wright, Pep, Chong, Larice, Canate, and the whole bench are untradeable. Got 320,000 coins to improve. 43-1 in game. Love the vids. Keep it up. So uh, Griezmann, uh, Pep, Larice, Canate, and obviously uh, the two icons. Okay. What would I do? A good question. That is a very good, very good question. Um... Not a fan of having Larissa off chem. I would, I would actually. Uh, I know Larissa is untradeable. I would replace Konate with Davidson Sanchez, and the reason why I say that, obviously, Konate is fantastic. You want to play your goalkeeper on chem, mate. You really do. Goalkeepers are bad as it is, and playing him off chemistry is going to make him even worse. I think that you'd probably be better off playing him on chemistry, getting a Davinson Sanchez at a right centre-back. Um, I just think you probably prefer that. Or you play a different goalkeeper, maybe play Areola, someone like that. Um, I just think that you don't want to risk having him off chemistry, really, mate. Apart from that, I think your team is, is the best it possibly can be in the positions you've got. Um, and then next upgrades, I'd say just work on your right side, to be honest. Um, and then you're, uh, you're looking really, really solid. Um, anyway, next team is coming from Sam Colburn. Love the vids. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that. All special cards and the bench are untradeable. I've got 250,000 coins for upgrades. Uh, would appreciate the help. Open to change the formation. Okay. So I'm guessing you play this in game then. Um, How many coins did you have? 250k. That's a lot of coins, to be fair. What would I change? I would personally... This is a difficult one, actually. It's a very difficult one. Um... What I change? I would probably get rid of. Uh, I'd probably relegate Willian to your bench. Then at right, right mid, I'd probably go Raheem Sterling, and then at right back, I'd probably go with Kyle Walker and keep the same formation in game. Uh, I would then whack on probably uh, a sniper or a hawk on Rivaldo as well, uh, and then your two centre back. I would try and get two anchors for both of them, and then your your left back and right back. I'd probably go with uh, on the left back Alex Tellers. I go with an anchor as well, and then with Kyle Walker, I'd probably go Sentinel. Um, uh, and aside from that, I think that your team is well built. Uh, next one is coming from Samuel Cox. He says, I play this in game. Uh, also switch to a 4 one 2 one narrow when I am winning. I have 50k to spend and the untradables are Oblak, Militao and obviously PK and Butra. Keep up the, uh, uh, keep up the vids. Uh, I do look forward to them. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. And I'm very grateful that you guys actually look forward to watching these videos. Um, that honestly makes me smile. So, uh, your untradables are Butra, Eder, Militao and, uh, PK and Oblak. Okay. What would I change here? I'm not entirely sure about Aspas. I'll be honest with you. Um, how many coins did you say you had? You have 50k to spend, and then let's see how much Aspas is. 
Aspas is currently going for uh, 125k. Uh, in terms of cams you can go with there. I mean, what you could do is you could put Griezmann at cam and get a better striker. Who would work at striker? Mm, I'm not really. I don't know actually. Oh, you know what you could do? Hey, here's a good idea actually. Sell us pass and Griezmann. Put Munayin as your cam, and then get David Villa for your left striker. That would be a really good shout, if you ask me. Um, that David Villa card looks incredible, and I think that would work really well, and obviously get you the full chemistry too. That might be a good shout, to be fair. And this one's coming from Jude Thompson. Uh, I use the same in game, but swap Keane and Griezmann. Uh, and the untradables are Son, Kante, Schmeichel, and Keane. I have thirty thousand coins to improve my team. Hmm. All right. Where would I improve your team? I don't see where you can improve with 30k. Maybe your left back. Maybe go with for 30,000 coins. You could go with Kieran Tierney. No, actually, you need the you need the link, don't you? Is there a better chem is there a better left back there? Probably not. Uh, I don't see a better left back you could go with, to be honest. I really don't. Left back's from Spurs. I don't think there is any. Um hmm. I would say just save your coins and work towards getting a better left centre back and a better left back that actually get links. Um, who would be good there? That's the question. Um, from the Prem. I mean, obviously, obviously, you know, there's the ones that are screaming out at me when you eventually get enough coins or uh, a Van Dyke and Robertson, but that's going to be a long time in the future. Um, you could go with possibly like a Socrates and a Griezmann. A a Socrates and a Kieran Tierney, that, you'll be able to afford that now. That might actually work well as well. Um, just try out a few different combinations with that, really. Um, the next one is from Jack, who says, Hi, Vardy and, and Guardiola are untradeable. Got 125k to work with. Love the vid. Thank you very much, Jack. Appreciate that, mate. Um, okay, so who would I change here? Where's the weak link is what I'm looking for. I don't really see a weak link. I mean... The only pet peeve, I mean, no, he's playing Cam, so he's actually, he'd probably work really well. My only pet peeve here would probably be Jamie Vardy. Um, you could get someone better than Jamie Vardy, but he links with Pereira. That's the difficult thing. So you don't really want to get rid of him, do you? Um, hmm. You could, is that in game or is that, that's how you start? I mean, you could swap Longley and um, Adair Militao and get, no way, because then Longley's off chemistry as well. I don't see a single change you can make, mate. Honestly, with 125k, I don't see where you can upgrade. I think your next stop is going for um, elite tier players, like, for example, getting an Abamyang up top and getting like a Hector Bellerin right back, I think is probably your next step. Something along those lines would be really, really cool. Uh, until then, I don't see the change you can make that would really upgrade your squad personally. Um, and we're going to say uh, the next one is probably going to be the last one. It's from Charlie Banks. Got all icon swap tokens. Uh, don't know who to get. Can you help? Want to get David Villa in over Ben Yedder, but don't know how. Uh, untradables are uh, the bench, Mane, PK, Politano, and Pele. Pele got 800k to spend, keep the great work. And he's also attached a picture of him packing Pele in a base icon pack. I am jealous. I am incredibly, incredibly jealous. How do you fit in? Um, how do you fit in the main man? That is a good question. I think I know exactly how you fit him in, to be honest. Instead of, instead of getting Ben Yedder, I think I know how you fit in David Villa. I think what you do here, and this one is going to be this is going to be quite difficult for you, but I think that you can make it work. Um, how many coins you got? Wait, let me just double check. You have 800,000 coins to spend. What I would personally do here, and this is, this is going to be strange for me, because I don't typically make suggestions like this very often, but I'm going to make this suggestion. I would replace Decore with Icon Swap um, Guardiola. That's going to take up some of your tokens, but not all of them. Uh, that, I think that takes up eight of, your, eight of your tokens. So you've got 16 tokens left. I would then, as another holding midfielder, I'd sell Kante to put you over a million coins. So right now, you haven't spent a penny. You've sold Ben Yedda. You've sold Kante. You're on like 1.2 million coins. You've replaced... You've sold Decore. Put you onto 1.2.5 million. You've replaced Decore with Guardiola over here. So you've got Guardiola as one of your holding CDMs. I would then go and get yourself from the market, Middle Essien. Yes, I know. This is crazy. And then from your other icon swap token, I would go and get Rio Ferdinand for your right centre-back spot. 
Uh, and I think you probably benefit from getting Rio Ferdinand there as well. That will also allow you to get a better right back from the Serie A, whichever one you think is the best uh, in your opinion. And then I get rid of Asensio and I go with Testegen. So the way your team is then going to look in game, it's going to be a better right back in Politano. It's going to be David Villa as your right striker, Pele as your left striker. Your two CDMs are now going to be Guardiola and uh, Essien. And then your centre backs are going to be PK and Rio Ferdinand. And bada bing, bada boom. That's a huge, uh, a huge amount of upgrades. Probably the most I've ever done for any team. Um, but I think that you're probably going to be better off if you really want to get David Villa in your squad. I think that's how you do it, to be honest. I think that's probably the best way you do it, unless you want to play him, uh, play Kante off chemistry. I think that's probably the best way you do it. So that is it for this episode. But here's the thing, guys I am going away on holiday to New York on Wednesday this coming Wednesday, which means I've got to pre-record this Wednesday's, uh, next Sunday's, and next Wednesday's I Rate Your Team. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and record Wednesday's uh, I Rate Your Teams now as well, straight after this one. So everyone that didn't get featured into this episode that submitted your teams on Saturday, you might get featured into Wednesday's episode. What I'll then do is tomorrow, when you guys have submitted more teams, I am going to, so on the, on the Sunday, um, I am then going to record um, next Sunday's and next Wednesday's teams as well. Hopefully, I'm just going to try and branch them out so that I fit as many teams as possible into it so that um, obviously you guys manage to get into the episodes. Um, and I think it's the best way when pre-recording to get them all sorted. So uh, I want to thank you all for your epic support. Thank you very much for uh, for showing the love on the videos. You guys are absolutely epic. Uh, I'm really grateful to everyone that shows love on the videos uh, more than you guys realize. Honestly, I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for the love. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.